welcome to the course of fundamentals of IOT in short FIOT. So in today's class, we are going to see the case study of agriculture. So whenever we add internet of things or IOT to the agriculture, it becomes a smart agriculture. Whereas smart agriculture on the other hand is mostly denoted based on the applications of IOT or internet of things solutions into the agriculture. So uh, in what means the Internet of Things is integrated to agriculture is IoT sensors are integrated all over the agriculture in order to collect the environmental as well as the machine metrics and farmers can be informed decisions and based on the decisions we can uh, improve every aspect of the works. It can be in crop prediction or it can be in uh, 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 soil quality checking or it can be the moisture content in the soil or it can be uh, checking the minerals in the soil it can be anything so on the whole the iot is made to help the farmer to make their life very much easier so by using smart agriculture there are lots and lots of sensors in order to monitor the state of the crop and uh, the farmers can also be easily able to define or identify how exactly pesticides as well as fertilizers okay should be used very much uh, optimal efficiency okay so with optimal efficiency so these are some of the good images where we can see how when iot is integrated into the farming these can be considered as the smart agriculture or smart farming now let's see the benefits of smart farming. So the technologies and IOTs have uh, these kind of potential to transform the agriculture into smart in many aspects. Okay. So let's consider some of the ways where IOT is improving the agriculture. First thing, basic thing, what we are doing is we are able to collect tons and tons of data by using lots and lots of sensors in the smart agriculture. So it can be weather conditions, as I have already said, soil quality, crop, bro, uh, crop growth progress. And along with that, the agriculture is integrated to the cattle or the uh, pets, right? So cattle health can be monitored, okay? All this data can be used to track the state of the business with respect to the agriculture, where the performance, efficiency, uh, and so many things can be improved in all the aspects, okay? So, next comes the better control over the internal process, okay? Uh, which results in the lower production risk. So, it gives a better plan. IOT or the smart agriculture uh, allows the farmers to have a better plan in the particular product distribution. So, how much the crops are going to harvest, okay? So, uh, or what type of crop, uh, crop to be harvested such that the production risk will be very much lowered. Next, based on this, the cost management and waste reduction uh, is uh, increased, okay, as the IOTs are integrated into the agriculture. So, there is very, very less risk of losing your particular uh, crop and all those things and not only that the increased business efficiency through process automation so by using smart devices you can also alt automate multiple process uh, across the production cycle it can be irrigation or it can be fertilizing or it can be pest control or anything okay so not only that we are also uh, having the enhanced product quality and volumes okay better yields okay or the higher quality or the higher volumes of crop is getting uh, or achieved based on this particular automated process next is the reduced environmental footprint automation also carries environmental benefits okay and uh, these smart farming technologies can cut down the use of pesticides as well as fertilizers okay so by offering precise coverage uh, in order to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions okay so reduced environment uh, footprint can also be achieved through this 
So let's see an overview of benefits of 5OT in agriculture. So value data collected by the smart sensors is one. On the whole, we will be having lower production risk. Cost management and waste reduction can be uh, done. Processes and automation across the product cycle uh, is achieved. Enhanced product quality and volumes are achieved and reduced environmental footprint and many more things can be considered as the benefits of the IoT in the agriculture. Let's see some of the use cases in agriculture. Monitoring of climate conditions. So monitoring of the climatic conditions is very much essential for the farming. Okay. So with the help of various sensors, you can also uh, collect data from various uh, environments and you can send it to the cloud. Okay. So you can also uh, measure the climatic condition uh, based on the climatic condition. You can also choose the appropriate uh, crops. Okay. And you can take necessary measures to improve the capacity or the precise farming. So see, this is how an uh, IoT device. Okay. So which is based on the solar energy is fitted in the agriculture. Okay. Which can be considered as our smart farming. Next, greenhouse automation. So, generally the farmers use manual intervention to control the greenhouse environment. Whereas coming to the IOTs, these IOT sensors enable them to get the accurate real-time information uh, with respect to the greenhouse conditions such as lightning, temperature of that particular uh, area, okay, soil condition, humidity, okay, everything can be monitor and minerals, uh, everything can be monitored time to time. See, crop management. So with the help of the IoT, okay, so the precise farming or the, or the crop management devices are much more uh, came into existence, okay. Just like weather uh, station, they should be placed in the field to collect the specific data. So it can be related to the data related to the crop farming or it can be uh, data related to the uh, uh, temperature or it can be in the overall crop health. Okay. So this is, these are some of the diseases, uh, devices where they will be using it for the uh, crop management and all those things. Not only that, along with the agriculture, cattle monitoring is also one of the major uh, part both agriculture and cattle management are attached together right okay so just like crop monitoring iot agriculture sensors uh, can also be attached to the animals on a farm in order to monitor their health as well as log performance okay so if the animals get sick or the cattle get sick okay the farmer may get the notifications okay so based on that, uh, we can also avoid contamination of this particular area. Okay. So you can also use some sort of drones for real time cattle tracking where they are going. Okay. In order to reduce the farmer's effect, uh, effort. So it can also be comes under some sort of uh, pet care with respect to IOT devices. So, so these are some few images, uh, image regarding the cattle farming next as we have already uh, seen uh, precise farming can be done based on this particular uh, sensor data okay so uh, using sensor iot sensors lightning temperature soil condition humidity carbon dioxide levels pest infection everything can be monitored as well as altered if necessary and this data enables the farmers to estimate optimal amounts of water, fertilizers, uh, pesticides for their crops according to the need, which helps in reducing the expenses and also raise better and healthier crops. Next comes the advanced technology like agricultural drones. Okay. So nowadays unmanned aerial vehicles or the agriculture drones are very much used in the agriculture in order to collect the data or in order to uh, spray the pesticide or the fertilizers for the crops and everything so or uh, not only that in order to surveillance that particular farm area all these things can be uh, monitored using this agriculture drone i will put a small video regarding the agriculture drone okay you can have a look over it
So these are some of the drones. Uh, this drone is especially designed to for surveillance. There will be a fitted camera to it, okay, in order to uh, see the whole farm, okay, surveillance the home for this uh, drone is used, okay. Next, predictive analysis for uh, smart farming. So with the help of IoT, agriculture IoT or the smart IoT, we can get the real-time data such that you can have an analytics uh, and you can uh, predict uh, the crop harvesting time, what type of crop should be yielded at a particular time, what might be the risk of diseases or infections, okay, or the uh, crop may yield, okay. So on this or, or what type of weather condition it can be. So based on all these things, farming can be much more efficiently done. Next comes end-to-end -end farm management system. So with the help of the IoT devices, the dashboards and sensors, okay? So IoT management system will be helping time-to-time -time data or collecting the time-to-time -time data uh, based on which the farming can be more precise. So this is how an user, the example of an user interface, how you get all the crop details or our farm details in a particular application, okay? Next comes robots or autonomous machines, harvesters, tractors, some uh, cutting machines or different types, uh, seed sowing machines or different types of water sprinklers, automatic sprinklers or all these are uh, nowadays made somewhat into an advanced like an robotic innovation. So all this adding robots and autonomous vehicle to the agriculture or the fields has uh, made much more efficient farming okay so with this we can also uh, uh, reduce the human effort so uh, things to consider in an agriculture iot app development is the hardware so the uh, brain of the hardware it can be a microcontroller or a microprocessor apart from that maintenance need to be there mobility the app should be more from one place to another it should be portable it should have a proper infrastructure such that it will be connected and it should be connected to several other devices uh, whenever needed. It can be kind of a smartphone or a smartwatch kind of thing and data collection should be done in real time. Apart from all this, a data security should be provided to these kind of apps, okay, for the agriculture development.